المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بماذا يكون من نظركم سيدي يا رسول الكريم الخبيب العظيم ماذا يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولي من الشيخ عبد الله فايز الدغستاني سيدنا الشيخ محمد نازم عبد الحكاني مولانا الشيخ الشام كباني الشيخ عدنان كباني الشيخ محمد عادل عبد الخالق الخوشدواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا عليه السلام ثم سيدنا بكر صديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان امام الحسن عليه السلام امام الحسين عليه السلام وسيداتنا فاطمه الزهراء عليه السلام في بركات ليلة الاسراء والمراج ان شاء الله tonight tomorrow night then Allah will address us and bless us from the immensities of these lights and this eternal dress Allah sending upon the soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa wasiri Surat al-Fatiha Ameen Fa'a'uzu billahi min shaitani rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Ya Rasul wa Ulul Amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, inshaAllah Holy Qur'an dress and light for our souls for all of eternity. InshaAllah we'll read from Surat Al-Isra 17 inshaAllah. The first verse, Hajj Shahid, inshaAllah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Subhanalladhi yasra bi'abdihi laylam min al-masjid al-haram ila al-masjid al-aqsa. الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبركاته رسول كريم الحمد لله لنا يوم إن شاء الله زو جال called upon his servant his beloved سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and brought him with physicality to the Divine the Presence. And alhamdulillah that Allah give to us a means in which to… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs. Our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. To achieve immense realities that from Masjid al Haram that Allah giving to us that everyone has a masjid and that it has to become like Baytullah, Qalb al Mu'min Baytullah, which is the importance of Masjid al Haram, means a, a heart in which no haram, a heart in which is busy trying to be cleaned. Not that we don't sin, but we sin and we ask for forgiveness and we keep praying that Allah grant us an ajr and reward and write for us a qismat filled with good deeds and good actions as much as shaitan is making us to do bad actions. And that Allah is granting us and calling our attention that, I took my servant if you are following in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad that I take from the Masjid al-Haram, I take from the heart in which no haram and I bring to Masjid al-Aqsa 
I bring into my Divinely Presence and a mirage into the heavenly kingdom and our life is about making our house, making our heart to be the house of God, the house of Allah and that we clean and purify our heart, that we circumambulate the heart and that everything in our circumambulation is that based on Allah first. That our life, our choices are based on what Allah wants for us and that's embodied with the love and adherence to the way of Sayyidina Muhammad to the best of everyone's ability. And living a life in which what Allah is not pleased with to leave so that it doesn't enter the heart, doesn't contaminate the heart because that which is not pleasing to Allah then occupies that what you are making tawaf around. So when we bring bad actions and bad desires into the heart we're circumambulating around that bad desire and bad action and it becomes us. It's hard to differentiate and say, no I have a love for Allah but I am circumambulating these bad desires because that which you circumambulate is your focus in life. So the tariqah is coming and teaching us real life events that it is possible to enter into the Divinely Presence. And by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad awliyaullah come into our life and give us that the Qur'an is drawing us into that reality. That make your heart and imitate the way of Sayyidina Muhammad that make your heart to be masjid al-haram, no haram, that whatever badness come asking tawbah, asking uh, to be washed, asking for forgiveness. We say the, the, the zikr now is astaghfirullah azeem thousand, ten thousand times at the beginning of the day asking Allah forgiveness, forgiveness for everything I'm doing wrong, everything from what I do wrong, from what my family does wrong, from what my community does wrong, Ya Rabbi grant us your maghfirah and forgiveness. So that the ha- house of Allah and the heart of the believer becomes Masjid al-Haram, becomes the Holy Kaaba in which the light and the love of Allah resides within the heart of that servant. And as a result their circumambulation around their heart, their actions and their deeds are matching. And they give to us, they speak of all these realities and begin to remind us that it's so easy to accomplish but yet so hard. Means the people whom are waiting for Israhul Miraj and asking and thinking that they're going to go for a miraj, awliyaullah come into our lives and teach us it's so simple. The miraj of Sayyidina Muhammad is to Allah and the miraj for the believers and mu'mineen and muhsin and mukhlas is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad You be with whom you love. Not that you had to do all extraordinary actions to achieve but Prophet merely said, you be with whom you love and whom you love will be with you. Something that sounds so simple is a key towards that reality. That our job was to clean, stay clean, have good character, have good manners and good adab and fulfill the covenant of love. It says, be sadiq, be a truthful servant to love, love and loyalty, love and honour. As a result the servant is a truthful servant, no, they don't tell lies or, or they, the, they have to say the truth even if it's insulting to everyone. We described that in previous months from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq was teaching us because these are his gates. Maqa Siddiq is to enter through the gate of truthfulness to leave through the gate of truthfulness because the miraj of the believer is into the presence of Sultan and Nasir. 
that the bab and the gate has to be opened by Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq for the ashiqeen whom sit and look and sit and wait and Siddiqiyah truth has to open for them that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq looks to the servant and says that, I know that you're trying your best to be truthful to love, that you uphold your honour and your dignity in love and that's something that sounds so simple but in a world of deceit and deception it seems to be overwhelmingly more and more difficult. People want to take a path of love and deceive and use deception and have bad manners and bad character. And all that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is inspiring and teaching for us is that how would you have treated Sayyidina Muhammad As they treated, look at the lives of the holy companions and how they had a reverence and love for Sayyidina Muhammad they were true to their love. They know nothing of Allah they didn't see Allah but that which they saw of ayatum and ayatullah, the signs of Allah is they fell in love with Him and they served Him with their life and with their entire being. And as a result of their truthfulness to that love, what Sayyidina Bilal al-Habash taught us because all these companions are representing immense maqams. The, the maqam al-aqfa is the highest station of annihilation in which Abdul Ahad, in which a servant to the unique oneness of Allah and the holy companion Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi, what he achieved in his darajat of Ahad, 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 for what? Because he was tortured for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And the people of the community said, you leave the Muhammadan way, you can worship Allah and nobody will know. But why you have to follow Sayyidina Muhammad It's creating a pandemonium amongst all the slaves. And this is an immense reality of the servanthood of Allah in which they served their love for Sayyidina Muhammad with their lives, with their entire being. So this gate of Siddiqiyoon and Sadiq is be truthful to love, have good character, be loyal to your love. That if you did something wrong you quickly ask for forgiveness. The people they, they serve 10 years, 15 years and when they feel they just walk away. They go, this is not sadiq of love, this is a, a dunya western person. They have no concept of love, loyalty and honour and respect. That you give your allegiance to love and you don't leave it until you're dead. And when you're dead you're going to witness your love. That which you loved, that which you served and that which you kept all your loyalty to is the magnet of your soul. It's the compass that drives the ship, not the aql, not the brain. You can't cast your brain to be with whom you thought you read a story about. It's our ship, it's the guidance of the ship. It's the magic compass that takes us to our destination. So I don't know, I haven't seen, I don't know all these realities. But say, Ya Rasul Kareem, I have an immense love for you. And when my body withers away and all my physicality goes, I know that my love that's the light within my soul will direct me to your presence. And you be with whom you love and whom you love is allowing you to be loved. Allah says, we don't even allow our name to be mentioned in their homes. 
What's the best home of a believer is his heart. If you have permission to say, Allah, Allah gave you permission to say that. Allah in Qur'an al-Majeed is saying, we don't even give permission for our name to be mentioned in their homes. Means already Allah gave, if you can mention the name of Allah He gave a door and a key of love, all we had to do was activate it. And everything in this dunya, everything in this world awakens us to realize not to be loving people, not to have the character of love because people are being fooled thinking they are upholding Islamic issues. Oh no, Shaykh, I'm still in Islam, I can do this, 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 but you know I can, I can be rude and vulgar and everything else. Say, no, you lost your whole understanding. That's a much lower level. Yeah, you, you may get by and you may go through the difficulties of the grave, but you're not going to achieve these stations. You're not going to achieve these proximities because you broke the compass towards that reality. The compass of this reality is ishq and muhabbat. And to be a sadiq and truthful servant to that love, you upheld the love, you honoured the love and you served it with your life and death and soon may call your life. Everyone's life is being called. We talked two weeks ago and was but one shout and thousands of buildings came down. Did they, did they nor planned for it nor even thought that something like that was coming. So we don't know when our time comes. And all that they inspire is this such an easy key is love and ishq and muhabbat. And as a result Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is teaching have the truthful love, the truthful servanthood. And at that time Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq signs off and opens the heart that come and enter amongst the sadiq and truthful servants. And the truthfulness of love is not when you say you've been loved but when you've been crushed by love and your heart never changes. Uh, why in this month? of this immense proximity and immense dress is munafiqeen, the surah. Because everybody may claim love and as soon as they get angry they say they hate you. And Prophet described, this is the characteristic of a munafiq in which they claim to love you but in reality they're jealous of you and hate you. And in the first opportunity they will expose that characteristic. This is a holy month of Miraj, the holy month of Rajab and Allah has the 63rd surah is Munafiqeen showing us the exact nemesis of this reality. That don't say that you said it by tongue but by every action you're going to be tested, you're going to be insulted and squeezed and crushed because they want to see if you have an inner munafiq within you. And if the inner munafiq begins to whisper it has to be destroyed. And do what you do for Allah not for your attention, not for photos, not for publicity. The photos and publicity are for the shaykh so that people can be called to his reality and the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad not to people and distracting people into different directions. This way of love and this way of service is to be nothing. As a result of knowing the, the nemesis of this love is munafiqeen, is hypocrisy, then you read Surah uh, Munafiqeen, the 63rd surah of this month is the tajalli of Rajab before Rajab ends. And Allah in just 11 ayat, Ayatul Kareem 
describes the immensity of the danger of their character. And the Messiah is going to exhibit all of them. He's going to call people to Islam, to Allah only and He's going to call them and he want to make hajj with them and come and, and, and do everything with them. They're going to claim their right to the Kaaba and that they want to make hajj and they want to come and say, one, we are one, we follow La ilaha illallah but Allah describes them. Means this is the immensity and the dangers that are opening upon this earth and that's why in the holy month of Rajab Allah preordained and predestined Surat Al-Munafiqeen as an immense warning. Because their character is that everything they ask them they come, come if you're believing in Allah and we did things wrong, let us go to Sayyidina Muhammad and ask his forgiveness. And Allah describes them in Surah Munafiqeen that they get angered, like, what? They get filled with pride and turn their heads, means they want nothing to do with the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad nor will they ever enter into these zikrullah and the majlis of Salli ala Nabi Immensity of danger, immensity of danger that's facing as the opening of these realities are opening upon this earth. And for us shaqeen so simple, if they have a love and they have an ishq this gate begins to open. And they merely have to know with all their heart that it's your love that takes you through that gate. It's your love that keeps you with whom you're supposed to be with. Because people with their aql and their mind they think they have to recite certain things and they're going to achieve certain things. And it's just so easy. If you were true to your love you know how you served with your love. You know the condition of your heart and was your heart true to your love. As a result if it was true you feel their presence, you feel the presence of the shaykh. You served with your life, with your wealth, with your time, with everything and every bit of you was in service. You feel their presence and that you know whatever their dress is, is dressed upon you. And you feel the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And it's only through that love that wherever the one whom I love is being dressed, I'm being dressed. And this is a night in which all of us have the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad And he would never leave his ashiqi. That from whatever his soul is being dressed by Allah and all that he asks from us is be truthful to your love with good character. From whatever Allah dressing the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad blessing. It takes the dress of Allah and blesses his ashiqeen, take away difficulties and hardships from their souls. And all they have to do is just sit in that love, have good character and good manners and they know that that's being deposited onto their account. The shaykh, I don't feel anything, you're not to feel anything, the time is too dangerous right now. Very dangerous times have opened. Any energies and tajallis are sparking the attentions of shayateen, everything is being safely deposited where they need to be deposited. But there has to be a sakina within the heart of the servant that they know they served with love. Some they come for whatever intention, for a fame, for networking, for money, for contacts. But when they review themselves and say, no I came for love. And in my heart of hearts 
I feel that love and I know what I came for. They have a sakina within their own heart and with their own being and as a result they put their back upon that reality. They don't have to prove it to anyone but everyone when they're by themselves they know how they serve this way. They know what they put into this and what they got out of it. What you put into something is what you get out of it. If you put nothing into it, alhamdulillah you still got immense realities because just mentioning the name Allah it can't even be weighed on a scale. But this sense of sakina on these holy nights, oh shaykh when is the night coming, when is the night coming? When the night comes the one whom you love is deep in that reality and you feel that love and you'll be dressed by it, don't worry it won't pass you. It doesn't miss you because love doesn't leave you alone. If we're not getting it that the spiritual magnet draws us together and whatever that generous soul is receiving is immensely emanating out and the only condition is love because love draws us to a proximity. Not the one who has the fiqr memorized, the one who is hefs of this and hefs of that and the one whose external actions is like this and external actions like that. But their, their love was true, their soul was true, their loyalties were true and they were tested and crushed through it and yet they never changed the condition of their love. And as a result they know that their souls are near like an atom radiating into the nucleus and whatever that nucleus is achieving is emanating out, dressing and blessing them with knowledges and fires and emanations that can be imagined to safeguard them against the days of difficulty that are opening upon this nation. Don't think it's coincidence that now they're recognizing, oh yeah we didn't go to Egypt, we actually went into Saudi Arabia. And all the sites that were biblical sites are actually in Saudi Arabia. And the mountain where Nabi Musa was talking to Allah, it's in Hijaz. The mountain top is burned and they show the mountain top. The rock in which he split and the 12 tribes drank is in Hijaz. The whole of that area is in Hijaz and they were making tawaf and they're going to come and say, no this is actually our place. Allah inshaAllah the only preparation for believer is love, not aggression, not anger, not bad character but people will be tested with love. Don't put out your bad mouth. Don't say things that you regret, don't write things that you regret, just keep the way of solitude in which you're silent and patient, silent and patient. In times of energies being bad and, and energies being confusing for people, learn to live a life of solitude. There's an energy pandemic much more dangerous than any pandemic from the World Health Organization. <laughs> the, the nemesis who, the false who, you don't see how Allah programmed this world and the humor that Allah, <laughs> Allah has, <laughs> that He named them who? <laughs> And with a asa and a, and a snake on it, right? Because they're going to copy the sunnah but with shaitan on it. <laughs> More dangerous than those physical sickness is the sickness of energy in which people begin to have a confused energy, a, 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 a misaligned energy. And when they spend too much with somebody, too much time, too much talking, too much jabbering, as a result they're unloading that energy onto you. And before you know it you're getting all sorts of 
vibrations and energies from other people. This is a time in which to go to work, go home, spend time with your family. There's not much time and, and need to do anything else. The more exposure you have and the more energies people begin to pick up, the more their wires become crossed and that's a danger. That's a danger. That's why the people whom they understood and they, they seclude themselves, they do what they knew to do for their rizq and their sustenance, take care of their family and be pleasantly secluded with their zikr, with their practices, with the love, with the live broadcasts, with the knowledges. We pray that Allah grant us through the Israhi wal Miraj that the believers their Miraj is into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And those whom don't have that love they miss the Miraj, they get the the, the drizzling of rain and barakah no doubt. But do their souls go into that proximity? No, because as much as we try to teach them of love, as much as Allah inspired thousands of ulama to reach to this point which is the last days of this earth that you have to love. قُلِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِي يُهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ And Allah then describes them in Surah Munafiq, they will never come to you. And they will never ask your forgiveness and they want nothing to do with that reality, leave them. And leave the people whom left dhikrullah because it also has the praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad So we pray that Allah safeguard us, protect us and keep us with good manners, good character and so simple a key is to have that love within our hearts and that Allah safeguard our families and our communities and all our loved ones inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below, the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.